Alright, this is the Adafruit Phona, which can send texts and make calls. So it's perfect for an Internet of Things type of device. For this tutorial, I'll be using a USB to TTL serial cable to communicate with my Raspberry Pi. Right there. And there's my Raspberry Pi Zero. Okay, so first off, we have a SIM card right here that came with a uh, phono package that was purchased from Adafruit. So the first thing we're going to do is put this SIM card into our phono. So there's a little slot right back here. I'm going to pop that open. Slide our SIM card right in there. And then close that guy right up. And slide it forward. Oops, give me one sec. Get that to snap in place, and we'll be good. Okay, next we're going to wire up our serial USB cable. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take our red wire and put that on the VIO pin of our phone. Next we're going to want to connect the pin labeled RX to the green cable. The pin labeled TX to the white cable. And finally we're going to want to hook up ground. Now what we're going to do is plug our USB cable right into our Raspberry Pi. I'll show you that real quick. So here I have a USB hub for my Pi Zero. I'm just going to plug that right in here. Like so. And now I'm going to turn on my Raspberry Pi. So as you can see, we have a blue LED blinking on our phone chip, and we also have a red network LED blinking. So if the blue LED doesn't turn on, simply hold the power button on the phone for a couple of seconds. The power button is located right there. So just open my Linux terminal, and the first command that you are going to want to enter is sudo apt hyphen get update. You should do this before you install any type of new software on your Raspberry Pi. So now that that's finished, we're going to enter the command sudo apt get install ppp screen elinks. As you can see, I already have it installed, so it didn't take me very long. 